Race and diversity are at the front and centre at the 60th London Film Festival. It opened with A United Kingdom, which tells the true story of an interracial marriage that triggered a political crisis. And it won't be the only movie at the festival in which race plays a central role. I never achieve anything worthwhile if I leave my heart here. Rosamund Pike plays a London office clerk, while David Oyelowo is the heir to the throne in Botswana. And they're in love. I've met the man I want to spend my life with. But the problem wasn't just that the couple's families opposed their marriage. White, British, and she's a salesman's daughter. So did the British government. The policy of apartheid. If you know this word. If you choose to marry the leader of an African nation, you will be responsible for the downfall of the British Empire in Africa. Have you no shame? A United Kingdom tells the true story of Saret Sakama and Ruth Williams, whose relationship helped change the course of history. But I think the act of love is 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 always heroic to some degree because you make yourself very vulnerable. Ruth and Saretsa Karma, you know, they really did break down barriers and I think one of the most interesting things is that Nelson Mandela took their love as a, a real beacon of hope for what his vision of South Africa was. The film opened this year's London Film Festival and although it's set in the 40s, it's still timely. It is time for us to create a new nation Our own faith. It is time! Uh, it, it has incredible relevance because I think films like this that, that exhibit injustices of the past can sometimes hopefully show us how far we've come but also how far we still need to go. Uh, prejudice is very much still with us um, and uh, you know any reminder of the fact that we are more alike than we are different I think is important. <laughs> I am told that you no longer wish for me to honor my duty as your king because of the color of the wife I have chosen. Who do you think will A United you? Kingdom you might be sentimental, but it's proud of it. I am ready to serve you because I love my people. I love this land, but I love my wife. If, you, if this was fiction, you'd be like, oh, go on, don't be silly. It's a bit much, isn't it? And I think. I think the thing that sets it apart is that, you know, I think we all get a bit jaded about, you know, we, we see all these movies that are purport to be love stories and it's like, you know, you know and the idea of like, love conquers all. And every, after a while you're a bit like, does it, does it really? And guess what, it does. Director Ama Asante wants to translate the film's power of love into real life. And she hopes that the fact that she is the first black director to open the London Film Festival is a small step in that direction. What I would like to be, it's not the exception that proves the rule. I would hope that this um, is showing a, a, a sort of, that the tide is turning and that we are now opening up a world of privilege in terms of filmmaking and in terms of uh, screening films at prestigious film festivals so that that privilege is shared. You're a child of God. you got purpose. The law put it there, then nobody can take it away. Also screening at the London Film Festival is The Birth of a Nation. It tells the story of slave preacher Nat Turner and his role in American history. Well, they got it, man. One of them's a preacher. The Queen of Catwee, about a chess star from a Ugandan slum, will also be shown. What matters is when you reset the pieces. She's winning. She's winning. The festival runs until October the 16th.